Hi, I'm Matt, and welcome to Tech Tested. These items in front of me may confuse you a little bit, but I promise, we're in for a good time. This problem isn't going to be typical of most consumers, but it's extremely frustrating when you run out of thermal paste. We're wondering if there's some sort of home solution you can use at least temporarily, or maybe even long term, in lieu of thermal paste while you wait for it to show up in the mail. We're going to be testing four different products. We've got Nutella, we've got Colgate Whitening Toothpaste, we've got some window sealant, and we have some Astro Glide. Our test methodology is going to be pretty simple. We're going to be using each of these as a thermal paste and we're going to be testing the low temperatures and the idle temperatures and whichever one performs best we're going to do a long term test and we're going to keep it updated on Twitter so make sure to follow us on Twitter as well. For our baseline test we're going to be using the stock heat sink with the stock thermal paste that comes pre-applied. We're going to be running Prime 95 for 15 to 20 minutes to find our peak temperatures and then we're going to let it idle down for about 10 minutes to find out where our computer's idling at and then we're going to apply the same method to each of these products to find out which one of them performs best. We're going to start our stress test now and we'll be back. So for the thermal paste we had a peak of 74 degrees Celsius but it was running during the stress test at about 68 degrees Celsius and our idle temperatures were 34 degrees Celsius. We've run our baseline tests and we're going to move on to our first substitute and we're going to start with our toothpaste. Okay, so here's our tube of toothpaste. Fortunately, this should be pretty easy to apply because it's in a very similar tubes type type that thermal paste is, although it's gonna come out in much bigger blotches. And we don't really know how much we want. I would assume it's about the same amount as you would on a regular. And then you just press the processor down and the pressure should spread all the paste around evenly. So let's start our Prime 95 run with our toothpaste and see how everything goes. We're wrapping up our tests with the toothpaste and looks like our temps are running at, peaked out at 81 degrees Celsius. We're actually running right about 80 degrees right now, which is, I just checked a few minutes ago, we were running about 75, so that's a little strange. But that's significantly higher than the thermal paste. And our idle temperatures were around 41 degrees Celsius. So we're gonna go ahead and close out of all of our programs. We're gonna shut down. And we're gonna get ready to start our next test. We're gonna use Nutella next. All right, so that's what it looks like. Uh, being clear toothpaste is obviously not gonna show up quite as much as the regular thermal paste would, but it does smell very, very good, so. I think one of the problems we ran into is the toothpaste just broke down way too much. Which is a little bit interesting because I've read forums of people running on toothpaste for quite some time, but today we saw it break down pretty quick. I'm opening the Nutella. Even though Josh already opened it and dipped his finger in it, it's like opening a brand new jar. There's no way to tell how much Nutella you really need to cool your CPU. But this is what we're gonna go with. So, let's throw our CPU cooler back on. So we have our Nutella paste added to our CPU. We are going to open up our programs now to do our testing. And we are running at, ooh, nice high idle temperatures of 53 degrees. 49 was our low though, so that's what we'll use. And let's start our test. It just spiked up to 88. Right up until we started filming this, we were running right about 82 degrees, but it just, yeah, temperature spiking. So we're gonna stop our test. Next, we're gonna use the window sealant silicone. And let's get ready to start Prime 95. We'll be back in a few. Hey, 
Guys, we are gonna have to shut this system down. We've reached 100 degrees Celsius, and I do not want to burn up my CPU. Um, you can see we're thermal throttling right now. We're running at 3.3 gigahertz. We're gonna shut this down just in the interest of keeping our system alive. I actually am a little bit surprised. I really expected that solution to work much better than it did. So tip number one, don't use that crap. By the way, that silicone only lasted about 10 seconds before I looked at the monitor and realized we were way over temping. I mean, technically it was thermal throttling. It was doing what it was supposed to. It was keeping itself within safe range, but that was an unacceptable temperature. And finally, we will be opening the Astroglide. Since this is also a silicone based fluid, I expect it will perform very similarly to the silicone we just tested. It's extremely thin. So it's gonna spread quite quickly and I might actually apply one or two more drops. Okay, we're getting ready to start our test on the Astroglide. Get her started. All right, we're gonna call it. We haven't reached our 100 degrees, but we're consistently running at 98 and 99 degrees Celsius. So we're gonna call this one a bust too. Lube may be good for some things, but PC cooling it is not. Yeah, let's shut this puppy down and come to our conclusion. In conclusion, Thermal Paste still wins out with a chilly 68 degrees Celsius, but in a pinch, you may be able to use some toothpaste, which was running stable at about 79 degrees Celsius, or Nutella, which came in just a little bit hotter at 82 degrees Celsius. These two silicone-based products, though, which I expected to perform a lot better than they did, didn't even pass the test, so I wouldn't use those. But should you find yourself without thermal paste, these two products may be the ticket you need to keep your PC cool while you at least get it started. If you want to find out how our toothpaste does over time, though, check out our Twitter at TechTestedYT, where we will be keeping daily updates as to the performance. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you.